Okay, today we're going to be looking at solving logarithmic equations. Now, when we're solving um, logarithmic equations, we need to always remember that when we have log a x, a solution to this only exists for x greater than 0 and a greater than 0. So when you solve it, if you get a negative a or a, ne a negative x, negative a, then we, um, and, and a also cannot equal 1. So for these three conditions, we need to check that the solution um, will satisfy. So you could have a solution has a, a negative a or a, ne a negative x or negative a. And um, you know that because this is a logarithmic equation, that that won't be a solution because it doesn't exist. So always check um, that... Um, <coughs> And uh, that you, when you come to your solution, that you make that explicitly clear. Um, so let's just go straight in and do some examples. Um, I'll just leave that there. So, 2 log of base 8, <coughs> oh, excuse me, x plus 2 equals log 8. 2x plus 19. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use um, what we know about um, t logs to manipulate this and we're going to use this to bring the 2 up using the power law. So we'll have log a log base 8 x plus 2 squared and that must equal log base 8 2x plus 19. Now We've got log 8 and log 8. Um, we're going to use the fact of equality of logarithms. If these both are the same, then x plus 2 squared must equal 2x plus 19. So now we just have a normal um, quadratic equation. So we'll expand this bracket and we'll get x squared plus 4x plus 4 equal to 2x plus 19. And now we'll bring it all over and we'll get x squared. That'll come over to be 2x. 4 minus 19 is minus 15 equals 0. We'll factorise this and we'll get x minus 3x plus 5 equals 0, so x must be 3 and x equals minus 5. And th if this was just solving this equation here, those would be the solutions, but we've said that x has to be greater than 0, so <coughs> this must be the only solution, so we're going to check it. If what you say, if you put into um, the equation here, 2 log base 8, 3 plus 2, we get 2 log 8, 5, and that would equal log 8. Now 3 here is going to be 2 times 3 is 6 plus 19 which is 25. Now the power rule that would be squared so that would be log 825. So that works. If we put minus 5 in we get the following. We get um, log 8 minus 5 plus 2 and that is log 8 minus 3 which is undefined. So x equals 3 is the solution. So we've just checked that just to show that that's the case. Um, 
but we can see it's the case. We know that x has to be greater than zero, so this is not going to be a solution. And you have to, when you're writing your solution out, you need to make that 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 clear and state that. Let's do another one. Let's do four log x two minus log x four equals two. So the first thing is, again, we're going to use the power law. So it's going to be log x 2 to the power of 4 minus log x. Now look here, we've got a 4 here and we've got a 2 here. Let's put this in, t in the same way, so that we've got 2 squared here. So we've got the 2's here equals 2. Now we can use the division law. So we're now going to use the division law, which gives us log x 2, 4 minus 2, equal to 2. So then we've got log x 2 squared equals 2, which is going to just be log x4 equals 2. Now we're going to convert to exponential form. So in this we've got our base is equal to x and our index is equal to 2. So that's going to give us x squared is equal to 4. So x can be plus or minus 2, but we know that x can't be minus 2, um, so therefore x equals minus 2 is undefined. So x equals 2 is the solution. Remember that would be a minus two, and we can't have the, the base can't be negative. Um, <coughs> so I hope that helps.